Hi, I'm Director of Photography Alec Watson and I wanted to make a little video for you on how Studio 4 can do some green screening. I actually do a lot of chroma key work and green screening or chroma key is part of Video Studio 4 and the tools are pretty basic but you can do some really fun creative stuff. So let's do one here. Let's import some media. I have some files. I did a little green screen of me, very short. I've got a background. I got a dinosaur and a dinosaur roar. And I will show you how to have some fun with this. So I like to start off with my background. The background we're going to use is a forest. Now this forest, along with our dinosaur and our dinosaur roar, I actually got off a website that specializes in selling video clips. There's a lot of them. I happen to go to Video Blocks. Uh, Pond5 is a great resource. Just know that Studio 4 is compatible with all sorts of uh, B-roll places and all sorts of places you can get clips for. So if you need, you know, if you're working on a food thing and you need some B-roll of some water pouring that's just done magically and you're just like, I'm not sure I can film that. You know what? Somebody probably already has. And as it turns out, I thought, you know, it'd be fun to have a dinosaur. Well, somebody had filmed a dinosaur. It wasn't green screen, but we're going to kind of make it work anyway. So here's my background. It's just a forest with some trees blowing in the wind. That will work fine for now. Let's find my clip. So we'll drag my clip down onto the timeline. My clip's going above because it's a green screen. So we gotta find where my clip starts. It looks like it starts there. And we will shorten it up to there. We'll drag it up to the front. Let's check it out. Alec yes, I am. And then it ends with me. Oh, yeah, that is awesome. Awesome. Look at that. Fabulous, fabulous acting. Oh. I don't know why I'm a director of photography with acting like that. You know, somebody, you know what? If somebody is watching that could make a difference for me, make me the primary talent. <laughs> okay, there we go. Overacting 101. So let's go to Advanced Effects tab. Here we've got Remove Color. Remove Color is your green screening or chroma keying. I'm going to drag it down onto my green screen tab. Over in Properties, I can see where my green screen is. I click on my color. And this is going to get the exact color by clicking that sampling tool. So I will find a color near me. Boom! Bam, just like that, gone, erased. That's pretty awesome. Now the tolerance, we can start increasing the tolerance. What that means is it accepts more of the green and that will help get rid of that rim around me. Now admittedly, on the downside, in, I did not actually do a great job of videoing myself in front of the green screen. <laughs> Ironically, as somebody who does green screening for a living, I was standing too close to the green screening because I was just doing it at home in front of a very close green screen. So that gets me some bleed. Um, not a lot we can do about that in here. We can soften a little bit, turn up the tolerance, but at some point I am going to literally lose my head. So that's kind of the spot for there. So we can make this already a little realistic with some tools that we have in Video Studio 4. Here's me in front of that green screen. My color doesn't look very good. I'm going to take my filters and I'm going to take an RGB filter. That's a colorizing filter. And correct my color a little bit. This comes in, there we go, just above our green screen. I'm going to add a little bit of red. I'm going to take out a little bit of blue. There we go. That's looking better. Now another thing, another layer that would make it more realistic, it's called depth of field. The depth of field, like those, those leaves and stuff behind me, they're tack sharp because somebody was shooting a forest, which is awesome. They should be shooting the forest, that's the subject. In this photo, however, where we're what's called compositing, I should be the subject and that should be the background. The background is going to tend to be a little bit soft. So we can do that here too with another filter. We got a blur filter. So let's drag the blur filter down onto our wind blown trees and grass clip. Now obviously that's a little heavy handed. 
but we can dial it way back till it is just soft. There we go. And now we have me in front of a softer forest. Okay, let's go back to our media library. I have a dinosaur roar, which I downloaded. Now, incidentally, a lot of the clips that you'll get off of websites don't have audio, and so you've got to put them in. So like if I play this dinosaur clip, there's our dinosaur clip on white. He's not very scary. It's the sound that's gonna make him scary. The other thing, and this one's kind of a bummer, is he's on white. I don't know so why somebody did that, because it would be way better if he was on green, a super easy extraction, a very difficult extraction when he's on white and there's kind of white reflecting on him. It makes it almost impossible. Um, that's just how that's gonna go, but I'm gonna show you how that would work too. So let's take our dinosaur and drop him in the frame, kind of where it makes sense. I'm looking there, and then, oh, let's see where I get scared. There's me getting scared. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Oh, somewhere about there, where I go, yikes. That should be our dinosaur coming in. Okay, we'll look at our clip, and I want our dinosaur to appear, yeah, kind of like that. We have him off to the side. Let's drag him up there. It's over top of our of my of my clip, right? That's not going to work out for us so much. We need to put him underneath. There we go. Now our dinosaur is also a little small at this point. At least he's behind me. So I'm going to make our screen smaller. I'm going to take our dinosaur clip. I've selected it, and now I can change the size of our dinosaur clip. We want a much bigger dinosaur. There's a dinosaur. Oops, I just grabbed me. Did not mean to grab me. There is a dinosaur that could clearly eat me. Okay. Much better. Now, when he comes in, we play through. There's me ducking. Roar! Okay. Dinosaur can eat me. The other thing we, we want to do is shorten up that clip so oops, so it ends at the same time as our other clips. You know, fade to black, so we leave the suspense hanging. Rawr, there we go. Now, we were talking about the fact that our dinosaur here does not... Oops, I grabbed me again. Sorry about that. I keep grabbing me. Our dinosaur is not actually green screened. So there's a thing also called luma keying, luma keying done by luminance. Now, we don't have a luma keyer here, and this would actually be very difficult to luma key because there's white on this dinosaur, but we're gonna do our best to do it anyway. We can click on remove color, and Video Studio 4 can actually luma key, I found out. So I drop our keyer uh, called remove color onto there. I'm gonna click on the color that I wanna take out, and I wanna take out this white. Okay, nothing happened, right? But that's because our tolerance is too high. Oops, <laughs> no, it's not, because I didn't do something. Let's, there we go, our dinosaur disappeared. That's what the dinosaur was supposed to do. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, it's because our tolerance is too high. If I drag the tolerance back, in comes our dinosaur. Now what happens is when it's too much, See how our background starts to go a little white? So we just gotta find that happy place. Now, our softness can help out with this too. There we go. If we play around with our softness and our tolerance, we can find kind of a spot where we get a dinosaur to kind of work for us. There we go. Now, we got our dinosaur layer behind me. There we go. Dinosaur looks like he's gonna eat me, but you know what? No impact without sound. And this is true, the audio person is so important. So, we go back to our media, and we get our dinosaur. <laughs> Scary, send chills. Chills, okay. We take our audio. We can see where our audio starts. Now, we what we wanna do is we want to, that to start right before I react. I can see a slight reaction right there. So just before there, because the sound should come out and then I should react. 
Now let's see what we got. On how Studio 4 can do some green screening. And there you have it, eaten by a dinosaur. <laughs> okay, I would love to see what you come up with. So you know what, if you do some chroma key stuff, please throw it in the comment section or share it. I'd love to see what you're up to. If you've got questions, throw those in there as well. I'll be monitoring this to answer your questions. The super smart guys at ACDC who made Video Studio 4, they're monitoring too. We'll be happy to answer your questions. Uh, please subscribe because there's gonna be all sorts of videos for different creative things that you can get up to. I would love to see what you're doing. Let's share and make the world a better and more beautiful place.